Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the USA Esports final match of the season. Ilios is going to be the first map. And I am Woozy. This is Noah, your pastor. Hello. All of us. Overwatch. <laughs> oh, wait. I am familiar with the USA Esports roster and i am not sure that i've seen okaylin play tank before so i does he usually play okaylin's usually a support player Hammer's usually a dps player but it looks like they've had some success on some different things in scrims this week so we get to see something new we're about to find out that's for sure The Orisa comp, it looks like they're going to be taking low ground. They will be rotating through cages. It looks like all of Blue Team is going to be sitting high ground, taking space and poking. Good, Lucio, they got... I With no bubble taking. on the monkey, it's looked like we could walk out. Our Orisa could walk out soon and take some space. The Sojourn on the high ground is creating a lot of pressure, though. USA makes a clean rotation to point. Vixel gets pooped off. He gets Whoa. traded after killing the Echo. They're holding point nicely, though. They're getting wrapped a little bit. USA's got the point. Lucio's They're holding strong. The 4v4. If I nerve it correctly, Lucio's a very good pick for this map because they just push him off the edge, right? Yeah, the poop is pretty oppressive, but it looks like Lazy Dog is going to be able to avoid it with the blink. Demai is coming back. And getting another kill from the high ground on the Kiriko. Looks like it could destroy the fight. Yeah, and the, the echo in the middle of it. Not, not a bad first fight for USA Esports. 30%. Yeah. 30% in, but they have plenty of time to recover. A pretty, a pretty scrappy first one, but I think the Orisa was able to stabilize on the point and yeah. play the objective a little bit better in that scrappiness. It looks like they're gonna be taking the high ground, but O'Kaitlyn oh, drops, so we'll see how they push into this. The Sojourn's still positioned on the back high ground. Vortex bomb was put on top so they could proceed. That was really good. Lex Lamb goes down early. Looks like blue team. Yeah, it looks like yeah, the memo was, was a bit of a kite. Lazy dog um, didn't get didn't get the memo. With their advantage, they're able to press forward. Than more space to push a jump and a step from the Kiri is going to bail out the monkey. They haven't had to use any ults to hold this space. Well, I say that, but Lazy Dog lands a pulse bomb. Killing the Lucio. It's a pretty turnable fight. There's a copy in the back line. Copy of Risa. Yeah, they get a hold for now, but the copy chases them down. Oh my god. Vixel's going to. Oh, USA's on point. At least one person is. Dragging the Echo. A, a B force from USA Esports. It looks like they can turn this from both. So, Kaylin going down in the tank mirror. It hey. looks to be flipping the other way. This one is back and forth as it gets. Trace and Lucio were getting in the back line while they were busy fighting. They almost captured the point, but they caught on in time. With the last fight coming up, I see three old for USA. Sports. I like their odds going into this fight. We'll see if they can set the tempo with them. They'll have to go cages. now if they want to try anything. Nobody on the high ground. It looks like a pretty good space for a rush. That's exactly what we're going to see. It's Look, here goes go out. A high noon from Vixel. Holding. Two big high noons! Oh my goodness. We are Still. fighting on the smallest oh HP. Their Pittsburgh's Lucio is buying time, but not enough time. And the Lucio gap on the point looks like it's gonna set USA Esports for the final hold. They managed to capture oh. the point over overtime. Nicely done. Oh, that was just a sound check. Oh. 
Pittsburgh taking the high ground, ready to capture the point, but it looks like they're contested. With USA taking the middle floor. Their monkeys gonna jump on the other high ground. It looks like we're just stabilizing on the point. I'm not sure if I like this. I think they're just gonna get wrapped and boxed out just like they did before. Setting the tempo with the Aretha will get to the flame tower. Lucio early. goes down. With the man advantage on. Nice like shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice You have to be careful about that sojourn. You see the railgun charge it up. That's a really big threat. USA's pushing back. If they keep it up, USA will take this round. It's coming up on last fight. All USA has a speed. They're looking at two uh, low CPS. Uh, sojourn used to start. Heat overclock. No so Jordan gets dead. destroyed. Oh, Kaylin and Vixel find the first two. They break the break the coffee with no kills coming from the blue team. That's it. Oh. it. Looks like this round's gonna be closed out. Another 2k high noon from Vixel. A very scrappy and close round, but it goes the way of USA Esports. Nicely done. Score zero to one. So what are you talking about with the uh, class change? It looks like it worked out. Oh, for sure. Oh, Kaylin was showing on the Arisa. Uh, uh, <laughs> initially, uh, I think Monkey is a good matchup into Arisa, but oh, Kaylin really made it work. Her, she was just really mobile between it the looks... back line and making pressure for Vixel to have space to pop heads. I mean, what I saw was there Winston was popping the dome early whenever they needed to capture the points, but. No one else was with him because it looks like he tried to go in far ahead. I mean, yeah, and when you, it's hard to walk into that point against the Arisa. I, I just think for that map, it might have. Oh, okay, Kaylin might have had a better objective read on it. I think if they, I think if, if Pittsburgh wants to, that that's their teammate, right? Yeah, Pittsburgh. Okay, if Pittsburgh wants to capture the point, they need to stay as a team. If Winston goes too hard, far ahead, they might not even have a chance, even if he puts down that dome. Yeah, we're seeing a really similar um, layout here. The, they seem to, the USA Esports seem to be going cages again and making a lot of space. The monkey seems to be too close, and the tracer gets caught out on a rotate again. Exactly yeah. like I said, he got caught Suddenly out. They're up too. Tracer was down, but Winston kept going. USA Esports, I think it's just playing this bunker talk on the team. <laughs> Lucio! He was flying, looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to see where they hold on this point. I don't want to see them get split up. I liked how they were playing before, but it doesn't look like they're too organized now. But with Pittsburgh going to fight cages in this 5v5, it they're focusing more a lot better look. Yeah, they're focusing more on hiding building. in the building rather than staying on the point. They're actually being smart about it. But I don't think that's. Oh. Sorgon goes down. Really well. They catch two DPS out. Both DPSs are down. Cassidy is giving work and Lucio's giving work. They still haven't flipped the point and all this pressure. Uh, I think these are just stagger kills. USA Esports is really living in paradise right now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they just. E even once they lost in a 4 to 4v4 fight, they were able to stick together and not get caught out. I mean, it, it was just impressive how coordinated they are right now. Yeah, that was good. The, the other team has even swapped the mirror of the Arisa, I, but it seems like they're getting matched up still. Doesn't that get rid of their burst? Or does it reduce it, it by like 30%? Uh, not sure, Gear but we're gonna, out. we're gonna see the USA Esports open this fight up with a rush. It looks like Pittsburgh is gonna kite it pretty well, drop a pulse bomb of their own in the back line, netting nothing. OC is looking to take some space across the point. Lacey bombs two oh, oh, like bombs. OC is looking to even the tides with a terror surge. It finds nothing. Lazy Dog trades it for a 3k this fight. And that's going to be the first round going to USA Esports. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and another high new kill. We are lighting up the kill feed tonight. They. Oh, the, the bunker comp was played to perfection. Oh, I'm in awe. Really good. Oh yeah, I bet that's the bomb that just happened. 
Oh yeah, the wrong light at the end. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> that was good. Getting a Lucio Ball character is well done. All right, so with the 1-0, we are going to be going into the second map. I'm not actually sure what it is. It looks like it's going to be King's Row. Um, if if USA Esports can close this out right here, they have a pretty good chance of qualifying to this season's final. Um, but it really could go either way, because as we saw on the first map there on Ilios, it was a very close duel. Yeah, Pittsburgh thought, almost had that round, but USA was able to flank uh, the Blitz into there and capture the points. I think they were uh, USA Esports was really shining on that bunker comp, but it's going to be a lot harder to utilize on Kings of Rose. So I'm excited to see their flexibility here. I wonder if there's going to be any other, other character choices. Yeah, they really they really did stick to the Arisa, but I mean, no reason to change it if it's not if it's not broken. Arisa seemed very strong on that map, mostly. For pushing people into control and simply just deflecting bullets, I suppose. Yeah, her survivability, I think, was really strong. Especially against that dive comp. That was really good. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be back in just a moment with the next map. Yep. Mr. Noah, we are back with the second map. King's Row. It looks like I'm gonna be seeing a rush rush mirror. I see May. I'm already <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, lazy dunk coming I... on May and Brawl I think is gonna be really strong. Being able to wall off the tank and burst them down. Wait. What? Oh they have a tank. I was about to say. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're gonna have a gravitational pull with May Ultimate. As for Pittsburgh, it looks like gravitational pull as well with so a, maybe a window. Yeah, a window. Uh, a quick rotate through hotel is gonna get Flex Lamb caught out. With no Lucio, I really want to see them kite here. I think they're just gonna be sitting ducks without. Yeah, they're gonna kite and get chased down and staggered. Vixel is in a precarious position. Oh, out. Uh oh. <laughs> it looks like he might be getting staggered. Oh, yeah. Yep. Hey, AFKing and resetting is the right play there. An unlucky kill will result... Or a, a, a very lucky kill for Sensei <laughs> will uh, hold the point for a minute. Not too much old charge exchanging, so it's not the worst for either team. It looks like they're going to be developing across statue. With, with Vixel still holding main, Pittsburgh is going to have to play pretty far back to stay out of his LOS. It's giving their O'Kalen okay, a lot of space to work with the tank mirror. With the Mize going down to some poke, uh, I think they're gonna have to play really slow here. I ideally, no they play for a recon test. A little wall act coming out from Big Soul. Gonna give USA Esports just that much more momentum. Nice going down. I think it's gonna be first point for USA Esports. I think Rush the, comes in from Kiriko. The rush from Kiriko to absorb this, this grab was actually really the well ball. anticipated. You know, I really thought the rush was going to be a waste, but it, 
once they came, once Spurt came out and grabbed, it was perfect. It helped them absorb it. Yeah. And with these staggers coming through, I think USA Esports is going to get quite a bit of progress on the second point of King Zero. With four so ults fun. coming on. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. With four ults coming online for Greensburg, I think they're gonna have a really strong second point defense here, though. I want to see how early they take this fight. Yes. Hopefully, the tank doesn't go too far ahead so he can stay with the team. I'm noticing yeah, that. Yeah, I think these corners in King's Row are really exploitive of uh, bad rotation. Yeah. That sim wall is gonna give them a lot of space for really it, though. A is gonna slow road. down the rush. <laughs> it looks like they've tied it pretty well. The sim is still gonna limit the Widowmaker's usefulness, and it they looks point. like Pittsburgh is gonna take pretty much all of second place. They forced this... USA off the point. That was really good. But with no kills coming out, it it looks like USA Esports is ready to re-engage with all the resources they could ask for. Yeah, no Vixel one was grappling really... up to the window uncontested is not a good start. A grab oh. and a blizzard coming out from USA Esports. Oh it looks man! Looks like it's gonna secure the corner. That took. That made them retreat. Only a two-player man advantage and a staggered bat by. Yeah, it to be that way. It's gonna be a late contest for Pittsburgh if they can get out now. Pittsburgh had a good advantage so far, but the problem is they didn't get anyone during that engage. So USA came in fighting back. That yeah, that engage pushed them back really well, but they just. But pushed USA back really well, but they fight it, came back with the resources on a quick engage. This overclock is gonna again push them back, but it, I don't see any kills coming out. Yeah, I don't see it. USA's playing well, let's safe. Let's see how they I hold space this I think time, USA's just, I think instead of getting ambushed, USA's just playing safe. That way they can keep up this. They definitely and are, they and this Tsunade Rush is gonna be a big re-engage. Right before Karen. Tanner going win. down early. Demise is traded. This kill all comes in. The beats are traded. Oh no. A grab onto O'Kalen and Lazy Dog. Looks like it's gonna clean up the fight for for Pittsburgh. That was a good engage, but uh, it looks like Pittsburgh was ready for it. I think when they Kitsune rush, they kind of just went into territory where they were surrounded by the. Kirigo got executed Pittsburgh. the moment she put down that rush. I think that was part of it. Definitely a lot of pressure put onto her. First thing I'm gonna do about his spot. Walking up the streets again though, looking to take this fight one more time. It looks like Victor's gonna be working his way around the left side of the map. We're gonna see a window come out main from Pittsburgh. An ice board for force from Lazy Dog, see if he can live. Uh, a bubble from O'Kalen is gonna get him out of there. They're retaking main as the window goes down. This is really well-timed pressure. Nice is kiting on top of the subway station. You see they can't get to him. Nobody on their team has vertical mobility. So Nice is absolutely free to heal his team up here. And they are having a really tough time dealing with him. But Cynism goes a little bit out of LOS of his bap and gets picked off by Vixel. OC's gonna have to kite a little bit. Oh, or he's gonna get- Snipe from Batiste. Nice. A second bubble's gonna dance him out of that mail. Sumatra ult comes in as well. They yeah, the try to hold the play with their iceberg. To work with. Oh, and Pittsburgh gets another huge That crowd. vortex! Oh no! Wow, both supports going that down to the really ground. Good. Lazy Dog's gonna find a trade on the demise, but I don't think it's winnable for USA Esports. No. They're gonna have one more fight in Streets phase. They got 35 seconds to reconvene and fight. That At fight? this point, it's all or nothing it, for the round. Yeah, this is definitely the last fight of the round. They out. have a Vortex, though, so they have a chance. They have a Vortex and a Rush and a High Noon. I mean, they're coming up on all the resources. If they're able to do all at once, it's huge. The problem, I think, is Evil, Evil Bill Eye has a beat coming up that could stop, stop it all. Yeah. With both... Here it is. Here it comes. Both the corner. A grab onto Demise is going to secure one. Vixel's traded by the Overclock. With the rush fading, it looks like the tempo's falling for USA Esports, but Flexland pops the beat! It's mirrored Cassie's by Beevil, Evil Eye Bill. Cassie was able to put his ult during that. With the window coming up from Pittsburgh, it, it looks like there's going to be too yeah, much pressure for USA Esports to stay on the cart. Cassie got...
Cassidy got demolished. I don't know how, but Cassidy got demolished when that rush came in. Yeah. So he, he was unable to put his damage out. Uh, I believe Chrism popped his overclock, his ultimate ability, and two tab pixel. So he had a support with him, but there's nothing you can do against overclock. I mean, one, two, you're dead. Yeah. But that, that is quite a choke point on King's Row. I feel like that is a very common place to get held because of your spawn being so far away. It's been the same since Overwatch 1, but... Except one less tank. <laughs> <laughs> one less tank. I think that's for the better anyway. Less oppression. Ready. All right, who has changed? See, we have Soldier on USA, that's changed. We have Widowmaker on Pittsburgh side. We have the he robot. Might be playing the Torb <laughs> here. He was on Soldier, but I'm seeing a Torb Cassidy being picked. I defense. changed a team. USA only changed one, while well, it looks like Pittsburgh changed two? I think their DPS might be um, some lobby bait picks. I don't know that they're gonna play Bastion, to be honest. Maybe. Yeah, that. Maybe. We shall see. I don't think so. With USA having one point, it's gonna be really hard for. It's gonna be really uh, pressuring on them. Pittsburgh, all, all, has, all The only thing Pittsburgh has to do is get two points, and they win this round. They they are rolling out on the bastion, and it looks like they're they're not going through hotel. They're gonna be walking it right up main uh, with the. Paralleled Widow from last round on the other side. Nah, the red team's gonna have to be forced to play in a hotel. They they can't give this Widow any value, so they have to having to play really concise. And it looks like a couple of them are gonna stray outside of the safety hotel and their DPS are gonna mow them down. Pittsburgh is taking the advantage. The trade. I don't know what Vixel and any of his teammates can do from here. It looks like he it looks like there might be a little bit of an effort with the flex that I'm touching, but Citizen is gonna kill Vixel, and I think they attempted, a good they attempted to buy time by getting him off the point, but it was to no avail, unfortunately. Certainly, and I think dying that late is a really big problem because of how much space you're gonna end up getting in the second point. Yeah, you don't want the respawn timers to be separate. You wanna have them the same that way you can reconvene. Regroup and recoup. Gotcha. <laughs> I have ability trades going down for this time where uh, I thought they should be regrouping, but I guess when the pressure's up. Vix is gonna play on this top left off angle of this map. If both Zarya so high charge on the I'm not sure what he's, how much he's gonna be able to get done. I'm noticing that the tanks are exactly the same. I wonder if that's just a special thing for this map. I think the Zarya mirror is very strong on King's Road. Lazy Dog's gonna find the pick on the Widow early. He's also gonna be able to take down the Lamp, and a form coming out from Demise should indicate some pressure, but it seems like they're able to fight right into it. Lucio fighting for his life at the moment. Yeah, Lucio. <laughs> Barely escaping. <laughs> oh, that's a not good. A three man <laughs> grab coming out from OC onto the back line. Finding Flex Lamb. Tanner unable to teleport away. Oh, Kaelin goes down as well. It, it looks like. Team USA might really be in shambles here. I don't know if they get another touch. USA's in trouble. 1v5. The Lucio, I think, knows where he is, too. There's a rush. There's a rush and a high noon, but I don't think Cassidy, yeah, Cassidy's out. Yeah. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Well. Oh, now I know the name. The Bastion on attack worked. That blew my mind. I wonder if this is the three man hole that we just saw. Oh no, it's a different one. It was the first round with the Sumatra hole. That's when they forced them back. For the last, second to last fight. That was good. Yeah, good job on that. Pink was hitting some incredible grabs. That was really good on Pit's side. Now it's one to one. Now it's one to one. Now we really have a game on our hands. This next game will decide everything, correct? Oh, it's best of five. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I've just been told we have a best of five on our hands. So one to one, anybody's game. Anybody's game.
I think we're going to go to a timeout here for a restart. One of our players needs to have a second. All right. Be right back. We'll be back. <laughs> Scores one to one, USA Esports versus Pittsburgh. I don't think I've actually seen this map, so this will be fun. Flashpoint, this new game mode can go up to five points, and it's all on the same map. First to three, right? Yep, first to three. Understood. No drawing. <laughs> and it looks like we're gonna see a Zarya into a Risa matchup. Um. I think that typically goes the Zarya's way, but O'Kaling made it work into the Winston, so I'm excited to see how they clash out head-to-head -head here. We're going to see a Kiriko instead of a Baptiste on the USA Esports side, and a Genji Sojourn on Pittsburgh side, so a little bit more divey 
and um, yeah. the eSports composition. So a lot on Lazy Dog's shoulders to mark that flank. Yep. Looks like Pittsburgh's going to be taking a lot of space initially, finding Vixel really quickly. A great going down the floor is Tank. USA is to flee. Yeah, a late cleanse from Tamarner is going to get him and his support out just by the skin of his teeth, though. A quick reset for USA Esports and a little bit of ult charge on the side of Pittsburgh. Tapping the point and coming right to the choke. This is pretty textbook. Pittsburgh's getting some charge on their Zarya. It's looking like another neutral fight. Just waiting for the tank. Oh, a swap to Queen, actually, is going to come out from O'Kalen. Let's see what they can make happen with this. I'm excited to see if they go as five or they try to send Vixel in an off angle by himself. He's got a lot on the throw, but a, a quick! Lucio is down immediately. Another quick engagement from Pittsburgh. He's going to find Flex uh, A I'm trade sorry, from I... Lazy Dog is going to make that re recontest pretty easy, I think. As long as we don't get staggered here, or Team USA doesn't get staggered here, the recontest can come fast, but Demise doesn't want to let it happen. He's getting really aggressive on this low ground here. With no lamp to bail him out, it looks like USA Esports is going to collapse on top of him. I also see that Akela immediately switched to Junker Queen. Yeah. Home uh, territory. <laughs> <laughs> Got the hometown buff on this map. And it looks like they're going to be mirroring, holding holding in the same choke point. Uh, I don't know if the engagements can come out as fast for uh, USA Esports it, like they were so explosive with Pittsburgh. Lazy Dog already on this flank. And a lot of tank oh. coming out. Senses him finding Tanner early. But that's the main heals going down for USA Esports. That usually spells defeat. <laughs> a big slide in for Demise is going to find Vixel. OC's a menace. Holy mother. <laughs> <laughs> OC finds a target and nothing can stop him from W King him down. <laughs> that, with that Lucio speed boost, it's definitely made easy too. Uh, I think the, they're playing. Or Team Pittsburgh is synergizing very well right now. Yeah, they're doing very well. One point out of the way, and it's like Team Pittsburgh is going to get I think to US up on this next objective first. USA just needs a really good ambush. If they're able to get past the tank and take down the DPSs, I'm sure they'll have a chance. They also need to avoid hitting OC shield, otherwise she'll do a lot more damage. Definitely. And, this, and OC looks to be getting really aggressive right here with a grab oh! and a blade coming out. An early cleanse is not going to be able to stop those slashes. I don't that think anything could stop Gintas oh. in his blade. Of they just caught them. 3k is going to decide the point for Pittsburgh. Literally caught them red-handed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get it, red team. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have uh, our first old fight coming up for Team USA Esports. A rush and possibly a rampage coming out. We're going to have to fight through a lot here, though. Two Bubbles is going to be able to cleanse the anti-effect from the Junker Team Ultimate. So we need to play around those very well in order to get some value. Kiriko, despite everything, still has a rush, so if they need to do a quick ambush, they can do so. I'd really like to see them setting the tempo. I think they're just taking a lot of poke without rushing. And like OC is able to capitalize on the space that they're getting. OC just... Again, oh. down. But Demise gets found in the back line by Lex Lamb. Some quick trades and a bubble coming onto the back line of Greensburg is going to let them stabilize. Some more aggression is going to take down Vixel. Zarya and the Ginji oh, is just, just can't be the combo. <laughs> Looks like they're capturing the point, but will they be able to capture it? A late touch to trigger overtime is going to come through, and a rampage onto a bubble is going to net no value. Lazy Dog goes down to his own pulse bomb. That's two points. And, it, and that that is the second point going in the favor of Pittsburgh. USA is in a USA very is bad situation. Sorry, there's Zarya is playing perfectly though. I think OTE is getting all of the resources from his supports. They are enabling him. Yeah. Really. Agreed. Well. And I need, I need this rush to come out from Tanner. I think we, we use it to take some space, or we at least use it to start building. Another. Oh yeah, the rush hasn't been used at all. <laughs> it looks like the team is going right side though. This, this looks like a good space to rush from. Let's Here see it comes. How, a rush blade and a bubble. Oh. 
An overclock in the back line looks like it's gonna make pressure, but not before Pixel's Blade can find the first kill and the second to shut down the overclock. USA's bursting everyone! Genji is shredding the opposition. And by which Genji, I mean USA's. <laughs> Pixel is ghost dashing around the point, just server adminning people off the point. <laughs> He shut down an ultimate there, which is gonna make the momentum coming back for Pittsburgh a little less than it could be, but their ultimate bank is looking a little bit, a lot stronger. Ghosty still has her ult though, so they have an opportunity yeah. to take this right back. It's a grab, blade, and a window. We're gonna see another cleanse come through this. Yeah, I guess he had his ultimate bit... A quick trade makes this a 3v4. But with the window up for Team Pittsburgh, it looks like a kite's gonna come out from Team USA. They take their lives and get out with three ult used and very little ult charge given. Yeah, not good. But, but I think they're in about one fight territory for Flashpoint, so Team USA really has all of the. No ultimates right are ready. That's not good. Pulse bombs on the brim. Oh, tracers. We could really see a, we could see a pick come out from that. Yeah, she just can't get caught. Lazy but it looks like this is really aggression. Kill Lucio, evil Bill Eyes being caught out on the side. But it's making a lot of space for OC to walk down the core. Is OK Link going to be able to live? No, she finds. Oh, they're capturing the point. Demise to... This is a perfect pulse bomb. Here it comes. The pulse bomb oh, incoming. The tank. Oh, and a quick oh. bubble from OC shuts it down. Oh, Bixler no. goes down to OC. He uses the charge from the pulse bomb to kill the other DPS. Oh. And another quick oh. clip. But with that, that staggered all... point progress, I think USA That's could it. get another touch. Maybe. Is it possible? Out of all the people oh. with the bomb on, she put it on OC. Oh no. And no touch coming out. Flashpoint ticks down faster than I can think. And a quick 3-0 coming out from Pitt Greensburg. This is going to be a tough series for USA to qualify to their finals from. Mm -hmm. Let's see this again. This was a quick play. I can't wait. Yep. That was USA's play of the game. <laughs> it was one of the few fights that they won. It was in that fight. Yeah, that they if... flipped the point and then got it flipped right back on them without a team. On that on, on that final engage with uh, USA, if Tracer was able to hit the bomb on anyone but Zarya, they would have had a team wipe, like an easy team yeah, wipe. It certainly would have forced out more resources than one bubble, but. You know, you can't always, beggars can't be choosers with the pulse bomb. It's not the easiest thing in the world. No, I would have done the same thing. It was a fight or flight reaction. <laughs> Big target, easy stick. <laughs> True. And I think we're going to go to a break until map three. Yep. We'll see you then.
<laughs> Welcome back to Overwatch 2. We have USA on red and then Pets on two, on blue. We're gonna have a we're gonna have game mode of Coliseum. Push the bots, or that's why I like to call it anyway. It's just push, so push the bots more fun anyway. Five, it looks like we're gonna see a similar tank three, matchup as last time in the. A mercy coming out from Pittsburgh. Mercy. No, we're going back to the Lucio bat. That's what I thought. Yep. Yeah. Mercy hasn't used the game in a minute. OC showing off some Widowmaker. Widowmaker on USA side. Oh yeah, Vixel locking in the Widowmaker for a Colosseo first fight. I think she's very strong in this first. In this first. Fight. Yeah, but what's the bot gets pushed? They're gonna be forced to switch. Unless they're super confident on them, I'm not gonna. An early deflux from Simpsism, but Pittsburgh seems to be holding the space and playing the LOS of the Widowmaker pretty well here. Just wait for that snipe. Here it comes. Nice. With Pittsburgh walking up to the bot, it is going to put some pressure on Vixel to back up a little bit, but it does give Lazy Dog some Whoa! <laughs> Here comes so joy. A quick cleanse on the Vixel is going to keep him alive for now. Demise getting low on the side. Lazy Dog! Which one flip on the bath? That was clean. A tank trade coming out in OCE's favor is going to keep this fight even though to 4v4. With Demise falling, 3v4 is arrived and it looks like USA is going to be winning. I can't tell. It's hard to tell. Back to a 50-50. The raw is being pushed by USA, so let's assume USA, I guess. USA is pushing the bot, but it drops right back. A monkey into the Zarya now. Kaelin and the monkey. A lot more dives now for this USA side. Pull it off, though. Vixel still on the Widowmaker. I a guess he's popping on this. Uh, a quick head on the Lazari is going to force a couple, and a, a bigger pulse bomb on the bat is going to force a lamp out. Oh, yeah, Lazy Dog healing himself finishes off the oh, bat. Man. No ultimate needed. That was a fast pulse bomb. I didn't expect it to come back that fast. That's going to be, I think, some pretty for Team USA and a uh, headshot from Vixel on the DPS. I guarantee that. Wall hacks coming from Vixel. Really easy for Lazy Dog. She knows where all the threats are. One right shot and she can get it if she plays her cards. Though I don't think hiding behind these walls will get her anything. I'd be worried about walking up with the enemy comp with the Genji Yeah. That's true. I think once this world like gets out from OC, he is gonna make this fight happen a lot faster than Vixel would like. Never mind, he's taking it as his own pace. Headshot's demise, but getting blade in the return. The blade finds one more, but it's shut down in a trade. Oh, here comes the Reaper! Both supports alive for Team USA, but Pittsburgh pushing the bot. Vixel switches to Cassidy. That's that's what I expected. <laughs> and then the Demise switches to Reaper. But I guess the Cassidy and the Reaper may be a good Demise switches to Reaper. How fitting. <laughs> With Vixel playing far back main, still like the Widowmaker. It looks like he's gonna play Rush into the again. But a quick su double support ult. Pulse bomb coming in! Catchy goes down! Demise is staging close spawn. It, it looks like they're really waiting to stabilize here. Both teams not ready to do anything. Lazy Dog making some pressure on the flank happens. Uh, jump into main from O'Kalen is gonna box out Pittsburgh. Uh, early lamp coming out is probably gonna force a stabilization from Team USA Esports. Lazy Dog hanging by a thread. <laughs> a quick rotate around down. the bot and he falls. Demise down to Vixel. But the E holds WT into the team again. Tracer's playing cat and mouse, distracting Pittsburgh's team. <laughs> Winston comes in for an ambush. OC is finally on the ropes, but it looks like he's gonna get bailed out by his bath. A primal rage coming in from O'Kalen is gonna be able to find a Lucio. But with this Reaper still alive and with so much pressure, I don't know that O'Kalen can be able to do much more. It looks like they might have to tighten him just and regroup. Everyone's still healthy though, so that's pretty good. Oh. Zarya's got a vortex ready. OC. I'm afraid to see how she's gonna use it. Have. Vixel has a high noon and Tanner has a rush. I wanna see who takes the tempo here. I think some quick ults could put the Zarya on her back feet and make this grab not as useful. 
If Reaper, I mean, it, it, here's the thing, if Cassie uses High Noon, that's just Reaper's Q to go in. It's a stalemate at this point when it comes to their ultimate. Lazy Dog finding a pick with no ultimates on Oh, oh here like, comes. Oh, they're going to force a grab in a position where they're up two already. In the window. Oh! Team Pittsburgh don't think they can turn the tides. Press two Qs. Reaper went down and everyone started to falter. Team USA is going to be able to get the lead here. I'm not sure if they're going to get the checkpoint. Genji and Reaper ultimates are ready, so they need to be careful. Kiriko needs to be ready with that, uh... I don't know what you call it, the invincibility bomb. <laughs> Thanks. Well, whatever, but also Flintland's feet. I need to see uh, a for the feet. Oh, Kaylin's on the Here comes High Noon! Sentism puts it right Wait. where it belongs. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Genji! Genji High Noon back at Victory. Genji High Noon the Cassidy. I've never seen that before, that's funny. <laughs> I was like, I, I saw the high noon, I saw the high noon thing, I was like, oh, he high noon Genji, oh, no, no, that's a counter. <laughs> rush comes in, but Reaper has ultimate, I don't think that's a good rush. I don't think that's a good rush at all. Here we go, forgot about the Reaper ultimate, that was not the best play. <laughs> Yeah, I think Tanner got really ahead of himself trying to set the tempo there with his rush. Yeah, and that, they're Flex. probably going to pay for it too. Second checkpoint coming to pits. But Flexlam didn't get the chance to use his beat, so they may be able to uh, um, match out the blade and give themselves a chance at turning the fight to their favor. Another thing to mention, Genji yeah. still has his ultimate. He's been holding it this entire time. They're actually using their ultimates one by one. Apparently that's enough. Mixer goes down a little bit of position. Oh! Lucio ultimate allowing them to spread through. Lazy Dog's gonna find demise. And with no lands, O'Kaylin's gonna be on the back. Takes him down. A blade coming out. Can't she use the ultimate? But I, I don't think he has anyone to target. He's Lazy down. Dog shoots down the blade! He, he takes down the dragon! Can't use his ultimate and no one was there! Energy. OC is alive on the point 100 energy. Never mind. Shut down. Mr. Robot. And the red That was really fight. good. That was. I, I didn't know who was gonna come out on top of that fight. <laughs> Honestly, the moment I saw Genji use ultimate, no one was there. I was like, oh no, that's not good for him. <laughs> but it's not over yet. Zarya still has a gravitational pull. This is just the. I can't use words. <laughs> Quick type from USA Esports to give OC a little bit of space. They're really playing oh. around the policy area. Neither team wants to push down in the road. Whoa, is that a power size D? An offensive V coming in from the same side as the grab. And a high move from Big Will. And himself. Uh, what is Arya dying to? Right. Oh, I didn't know it was possible. <laughs> she died to herself. Another incredibly scrappy fight, but it looks like Team USA is going to be pushing the bot. Yeah. Taking this fight to an end. USA, so. USA. Reaper has ultimate. Tracer has a chance to uh, use the pulse bomb, and then last but not least, here goes the rush. This Reaper ult is really Here comes the ultimate! Right a, a bubble onto him and a hinder. Oh! I'm alive. He's gonna he live. He's not gonna find anything. And with the resources gone to live the blossom, uh, okay, Lynn's gonna fall and the tracer's gonna be able to clean up. A pulse bomb comes in. Oh, what happened to the USA's tracer's pulse bomb? Did I miss anything? That one we won't talk about. Oh, I understand. I on the kill feed, so we don't have to worry about it. Fair enough. <laughs> We're gonna see another fight where O'Kaylin's on the low ground. There, the Reaper gets pressured off the high ground quickly. It looks like they're corralling the back into the Coliseum. There's a rush. A rush is gonna fight them in the sun. Though. Reaper's immediately down. Yeah, he used a lot of resources living. 
This is gonna be oh, USA's right. final push. They stop here, they're done. Well, they're certainly getting off to a good start. Taking on OCE is a great start. Gonna Going down one by one. Hard to charge up again, but they sure they have two fights left to go at least. Reaper switches to Sojourn. The Sojourn swap is gonna. Agreed. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, you know. <laughs> we get, they have a Lucio already, so they have like a last resort fight. But you know how it is. Tracer almost has her bomb. She's able to stay alive. That would be huge. Oh, here we go. Slim is going to give him a lot of stabilization. Fix is walking up behind him. A lamp is going to... He's buying time with High Noon. That was actually really good. Roll over the bridge is going to kill the Lucio. Lazy Dog gets caught up by the Sojourn. Sojourn shut down by Vixel. Moving the Wait. It looks like they'll get the checkpoint, but they still have USA might win this. Time to go. They still USA have has a fight. chance. They have a lot of time to hold on. I think Pittsburgh could really stabilize here. If they don't get over egregious, this is a scary situation. They need to stay alive, otherwise they lose this. I, I, I don't think they... Whoa! They're pushing it from Oak going to pull people back. And a quick boop from the demise is going to no. take him down. Slam goes down to, the, to another boop. Both supports are gone for Team USA, so is Vixel. And a quick re-engage from Team Pittsburgh is going to take push for them. I think Osiro hold, Osiro hold the ult a little bit too long. If he pressed it earlier, he might at least got some damage out. That was rough. Play of the game. Oh, this oh, break is dead! Zarya into a recent matchup would be so difficult. Uh... Mug against Pittsburgh, they will be winning the series. Wait, first of the three. Oh, is there... Oh. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, Flash playing... Went by in a Flash. <laughs> Good games to Pittsburgh, and good try to USA. Thanks for tu thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we'll see you whenever. <laughs> next time. Yeah, next time. Thank you for bearing with us.